RCDIY. Stay safe and have fun. Today we're going to take a look at how to get started with OpenTX Lua telemetry scripts. So go over to the website and take a look at the blog post on getting started under telemetry scripts. So what is a telemetry script? A telemetry script can be used to access telemetry data and display telemetry on a customized screen. We can process that uh, telemetry data and the results can be displayed on the screen. One example is the GPS directions home telemetry script that I've written and posted on the website. Each model can have up to three active scripts. So let's say you have a script for your GPS data, another script for your battery levels, and another script for your lap timer. That's it, you can have three scripts running at the same time. The same script can be used on different models. The one caution being that if a script takes switch input, so for example, the lap timer uses uh, the momentary switch SH on the Tyrannus, then what you've got to do is make sure that all your models that want to use the lap timer feature all use the same switch for the lap timer. It can also be used to display non-telemetry data. The lap timer is one example of using the telemetry script on a telemetry screen to display data that is not from telemetry from a receiver. It's actually from the transmitter's internal timing mechanism. Telemetry script files get placed um, in the telemetry scripts folder. So you need to have a, a copy of your SD card on your computer and then place the script that you download into the scripts slash telemetry folder. The script name needs to be six characters or less, followed by a dot, followed by LUA. One of my suggestions is to skim through the Lua manual most people who aren't developers probably won't have much interest, but it gives you an overview on what a telemetry script is, what a mixer script is, and so on. Whenever you open a script to read what's in the script, to change certain defaults, always make sure you use a text editor such as Notepad and Windows. So let's set up OpenTX so that you can use telemetry scripts. So go ahead and launch Companion. Edit the profile settings. Make sure you have support for Lua enabled. So if this checkbox isn't checked, make sure it is checked. Click on OK and then write your firmware to the transmitter. After you've written the firmware to the radio, load in the models and settings from the radio. Select a model that you know has a telemetry and edit it. Go over to the telemetry tab and take a look at the names under the sensor section. For this 
example, we are going to be using the receiver battery, which is RX BT. Take note that this is case sensitive, so the R and the B are uppercase in this example. So now we verify that we have the particular sensor for this, for this example that we're going to be working with. You get your Lua script from this website. You need to right click on the file name or the link to the Lua script and download the linked file. So once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and place a copy of the file in the telemetry folder. In, my, in this case, when the file downloaded, the extension got changed to .text. So you got to make sure that it stays .lua. So in this case, I'm going to go back here and rename the file so that it uses .lua. Go back into Companion and we're going to edit the telemetry tab for the model. On the telemetry tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you will see custom screen type, select script, and then in the drop down menu, you should see the file that we just placed there. You're going to select it. And then we're going to close this window. Now we're going to simulate this model. When the simulator screen opens up, select Tirana simulator or what the equivalent is for your particular radio. Long press page and you should get to the telemetry screen. So there you have it. So here is that telemetry script running which is showing us the battery voltage from RxBT the receiver battery. You can do a little bit of a simulation if you like. Click on the telemetry simulator and over here you can see it says RX battery. You can change the value to a different value and you will see the bar down here on the telemetry screen change. If for some reason it's not changing, double check that you actually have the simulate up here checked. So there you see as the as you play with the simulator settings the telemetry screen is changing accordingly. Once you've verified that the script is working the way you want it, now we can get it running on the on the radio. So you're gonna now write your models and settings to the radio.
And when you're done, you can close out. Now you're not quite done yet because if you remember, we placed a copy of the file on the computer. We've got to now make sure that it also is present on the SD card. So there's the quickest way is to open up the mounted drive and place it in the same folder as it is on your computer but this time on the SD card. There you go, you can eject your drives, the mounted drives, and that's it, you're done. Now go over to your radio and check out your script. Welcome to the dark side. Please like, subscribe, Become a patron and follow the links below.